Baylor stays on the road and travels to Norman in week eight. Despite the win against OU last year, Baylor still trails the Sooners by a hefty margin in the all-time series. Oklahoma is 27-4 against the Bears, 13-1 against them at Owen Field. The Big 12 welcomes many new faces to the scene this year, possibly none bigger than Brent Venables returning to Oklahoma to lead Boomer Sooner. I wanted an opportunity to coach at a place like Oklahoma. And uh, so it's a special place. You only get one opportunity, one chance to be a uh, to be a first-time head coach. Venables is one of the brightest defensive minds in college football. The Clemson Tigers ranked first in sacks, second in takeaways, and third in scoring defense during his tenure as defensive coordinator. His mission is to get the Sooners defense back on par with what it looked like in the early 2000s. It's not going to be um, what I just left at Clemson, but that it wasn't that way uh, when we got there in 2012 either. Oklahoma introduces many new phases in Venable's first year after the departure of Lincoln Riley and Caleb Williams, among others, via the transfer portal. 40% of our roster will have never put on a Sooner jersey in a game before. One of the new faces is Dylan Gabriel, the quarterback standout transfer from UCF. I feel great. I can lay my head down at night knowing um, not just what he has done on the football field, but the quality of the person he is. Gabriel threw for over 8,000 yards, 70 touchdowns, and just 14 interceptions during his three years with the Golden Knights. With a top five receiver in Marvin Mims returning, Venables is confident that this team can win, but he knows there's a lot to fix. You know, we got a lot of work to do, and there's no question about it, but my expectation is improving, all right? Better than when we started. For Fox 44 Sports, I'm Parker Reen.